Hey, welcome back to Overall Living. So, last night, or yesterday evening, came home, checked the, the coop because I thought I had a chicken that might be laying eggs. And right now I'm in the light of the coop. It's really bright. So, last night I came home, thought I had a, a chicken that might be laying some eggs. I checked my little uh, temporary nesting box. We had an egg. Today, you know, I let them out. I let them out in... Uh, Oh, I let them free range. And so today we came home, we checked the nest, or the nesting box, nothing. But what did we find? Egg. We found an egg. Uh, on the floor. In the, on the ground. They just scratched it in a little place in the in the bottom of the, the coop and laid an egg. So a while ago, walk with me. I was out here looking around because I was suspicious. And back here on the woodshed side... I thought, you know, we have one chicken that hangs out a lot back here. So I'm gonna flip it around and show you what's going on. So here we are in the woodshed. Go take a peek around the corner. Okay, I think I know what it is. What do you see? A ton of eggs. Yeah, we got, we got some eggs. We got more than one, don't we? <laughs> So there we go. We got uh, our yard birds are, are doing their job, actually. <laughs> I think we're gonna. T I'm gonna take this every day now. We're gonna, well, we're we've uh, we've done some studying, and we're gonna leave the birds in the coop for at least half the day now, and probably about lunchtime come let them out so they have time to to use the facilities, if you will. Any tips you got? Let us know. Cause we're all about uh, new new egg tips, new bird tips. So we're gonna try to easily pick them up and hopefully they're all good. Go for it. Okay. Just be super careful. There's one of them that's kind of cracked. You yeah. need a light. Okay. Here, let me turn the light on. Yeah. Don't reach in there and get them. Just do one or two at a time. Be very careful. See that big old spider right there? Yeah. Right there. Hmm? Look right there in the middle of the light. Middle? Right there. There's a little spider. Come on, get I the don't eggs. See You'll be fine. Just get the eggs. Yeah, this is poop. That's okay. Poop. We can wash them up. We probably won't wash them until we're ready to I'm gonna move be super out. careful with that bucket, man. We need to get you one of those egg aprons, don't we? Yeah. Come on, kid. Was that one cracked or did it just have poop on it? Poop. I just had a suspicion that there was a chicken back here for a reason. I'm very surprised because we did woodwork, not find this. You gotta be super careful. Looks like we got some pretty good solid eggs. the lid. Let me see your haul there. Look up here real quick. This. Wait, I gotta count it. One. Three, six. Can you hold it while you count it? Yeah. One, two. Oh, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 isn't that crazy? Wait, wait, wait. We just got one yesterday and then a dozen today. Alright, let's roll. See, that equals 12 eggs today. Okay, will you go over there and turn out the light? <clears throat> okay, so I took some pictures of a chicken and a chainsaw on Sunday.
and we were looking and it just happened to be, I well, don't mind our jar mess back there. <laughs> but mama been doing some canning. So anyway, it just happened to be the picture. You could see a couple of the eggs in the background. So they were there at least uh, Sunday. Four days. So, so they've been there at least four days. So we're gonna water float them and see how that works for us. And I think before we water float them, I wanna try to put a light behind them and see how that works. <laughs> we're gonna try to candle light them and see how that works too. Hey, go get my big old light. My big flashlight. It's by the bed. I don't know. So stay tuned. Okay. So this is our very first floated egg. Or it's not floating. So the instructions we have are to get a bowl of water, cold water, and make it uh, fill it up two inches higher than the egg. It's probably about an inch and a half, two inches there. <clears throat> and uh, according to the directions, the egg will lay down on its side if it's fresh and good to go. It'll stand up and still be on the bottom. I'm sorry, it'll lay down on its side on the bottom if it's good to go, if it's fresh. If it's standing up but still on the bottom, it's still good to eat. And then if it floats, then it's not a good egg and we should uh, get rid of it. So egg number one is good to go. Okay, so this is the biggest egg. I feel sorry for that chicken. <clears throat> and the light is now reflecting off of our water. So there we go. So that's a pretty good size egg. It seems to be good to go. You wanna pull it out? And yeah. Dry it off and put it in the... Be careful, here's your towel. Just dry it off real easy. And put it over there in the egg carton. That's good enough. You don't have to get carried away. That egg looks like it's probably a double but I don't know enough about it just yet. And you can see compared to this, oh. the other one, it's quite a bit bigger. It's a yeah. Good size egg. It's bigger than a normal egg. Maybe it's a large egg. We'll bring it in a store bought. It is. The same size. It's a little bit bigger than a store bought. Yeah, just a little. That tells you. It probably is a little bit. I bet it's a double. Yeah, but we don't know. Probably is. Alright, Shorty, grab us another egg and put it in the bowl. Okay, so this guy, it's hard to tell with that light being there. This guy is standing up just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. It's really not that bad. But it seems to be starting to raise up a little bit. And from what I understand, uh, over time, the air pockets inside the eggs get a little bigger, and uh, when it gets so big that it floats, it's uh, no longer a good egg. That's why they'll sit on the bottom and stand up because the air bubbles are starting to get bigger inside of If That's probably not 100% correct, but I believe that's close to what it's supposed to, what it read, what the article read. So there we go, a semi starting the stand up egg with the light being in the way. Okay, so this poor little guy right here has some damage. Yep. He's uh, peeling. Kind of peeling a little bit, so we're just gonna call him bad. He float tested good, um, but we've decided we're gonna coil this one for this time. Uh, we're gonna have plenty of eggs. Yeah. So <laughs> over corners. here, we've got a dozen eggs. Our first dozen eggs is from our chickens. And, uh, that's going to be it for tonight. And we're going to have eggs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner going forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm not forward to lunch. We're going to feed the masses, aren't we? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay, so that's going to do it with our... Egg. Our freshly Test. found dozen eggs. We found them tonight. We were excited about them. Uh, now we're going to eat eggs. Mm. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Go for it. Crack in here. Hmm? That might be a little thicker than you're used okay. to. Here. There's kind of a crack. Looks like pee.
Wait, it what? smells good. It does? That egg was fine. Do we do this for nothing? Well, I guess you don't want to fry up an egg real quick. <laughs> See if Athena wants it.